Hey everyone, so I've been trying to make a high voltage circuit for a while now, but we are in lockdown currently in New Zealand and I couldn't buy all the transistors and parts I needed. Luckily I've got, I keep a banana box of random old electronic crap under my bed. I've been digging through, taking things apart and I've found a few transistors. I don't really know what they all are, so I've just been plugging them in, swapping them out and seeing what works and I have finally found this one here that works. It's from a laptop power supply similar to this. If we just apply 6 volts here, it draws about uh, 0.3 amps. If we touch the two ends together, we'll see some sparks. They're very small, it's, it's really not that impressive, but you can light one of these light bulbs with it. All you need to do is touch one side of the wires to one side here. And it lights. Yeah. So this thing has two wires for each side of the tube. One there and one there. They both connect together. There's like a little heating element. So you just need to touch one of them. And this does change with the voltage a little bit and if you touch it it will also change in brightness and sometimes if it's quite dark set the globe directly on the coil and it will light up wirelessly so it's kind of like a tiny tesla coil that's not very impressive. Uh, yeah, that's kind of fun to play with. It's like one of those uh, plasma globes where the lightning comes out in a ball to your fingers. So I've drawn the circuit out here. You basically need a transformer core from, a, I got mine from a, a microwave, it wasn't the traditional microwave but a inverter microwave so it didn't have the usual core but it was uh, useful for this. I think it's kind of like a flyback transformer, you can get it from an old TV as well. It's a ring that breaks apart in the middle so you can insert pre-made coils onto it. And this was a real pain in the ass to wind a thousand turns. Uh, you have to leave spaces after every 200 turns or else it could short circuit through because you've got, I'm not sure how many volts, but maybe let's say a thousand volts over two centimeters. And that means every quarter is 250 volts. So you have to stop and insulate with extra tape before you keep winding on top of that. The other side is fairly simple, just two coils connected up with a 20 ohm resistor. I didn't have that so I used two 10 ohm resistors in series, not parallel. Going and of course I got my boy uh, Neil behind to keep me company while I'm tinkering. That should be so in order to understand how the transistor worked, I had to first wire it up with a relay here. So I've got it wired up so it will oscillate, turning itself on and off. And when you do that, it makes this noise. I think it kind of sounds like a telegram, but if you go... So I wonder if that's the, how they made the noise back in the day on them. Anyway, so that's turning on and off about 1,800 times per second. I've, I've tested it with the Hertz setting on my multimeter. And if you add in different value capacitors, you can get it to change frequency and keep putting different bigger capacitors in and it'll go all the way down to just clicking on, off, on, off, on, off. So to light this uh, bulb up here, fluorescent bulb, we need lots of voltages and to create that we can actually do that manually by applying 12 volts to this six winding coil here and we have a thousand on the other side so I just briefly touch it and I can get it to flash. 
So to keep it lit constantly, we just need to touch it on and off faster and faster. And we can do that with either the relay or the transistor. Now I can actually do it by hand, which is kind of fun, by using my pliers here and using the ridges as kind of on and off switches. And you can tell I've burnt them to hell from messing around with that. So, and instead of touching straight to there, I make the connection through sliding along here. We get it to light up. And the worse the connection, the better the light. And if I used a 24 volt battery like I did by connecting two of these up, then it'll be even brighter. But you get so much sparks and the wires heat up and it is a mess, a fun mess. So if we connect the one, we get partial glow and connect both and you get quite a bright light as it's supposed to work. And dims with the voltage. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you learned something and let me know if you've got any more information than I do on transistors as I'm slowly figuring them out. Thanks, bye.